To simplify this expression, we need to rewrite the argument as perfect squares and non-perfect squares. I will do that by factoring 54. I know that 54 is 9 times 6, and 9 is a perfect square. 6 is not a perfect square. x to the 7 can be written as x to the 6th times x. x to the 6th is a perfect square. And then y to the 10th itself is also a perfect square. I will now gather the perfect squares. So I'll write 9 times x to the 6th times y to the 10th. And then I'll put 6 and x on the end. And I can do that using the commutative property. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of x to the 6th is x cubed. The square root of y to the 10th is y to the 5th. And then the square root of 6x, those two are not perfect squares, so they remain underneath the radical. So this is our simplified form of this expression.